try to remember what I wrote And you just laugh We better have a talk Think it might last until it's dark When the candlelights are out I really think it's goodbye Okay, hi. I Yeah, I already have the mask on because I'm prepping for Starbucks. <laughs> but happy camp weekend ween. Hello, day one. Hey. Sorry, I have to have my car on because it's actually cold outside. What the heck? Also, I have my garage door open to let in a little more light and it really didn't work. Um, So, you watch back there and see if you see anything. Let me know. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be starting out. I have no TBR by the way um yes i helped create this and i mean i literally came up with the prompts but i no plans head empty prayers full we'll take more from you if you have them so i'm starting out with a short story it's an audiobook called nothing but blackened teeth i don't know anything about this but i started it for the b-roll clip when i was inside and Zoo wee, zoo wee, mama. Uh, that's some intense music it's got going on, isn't it? I'll answer that for my, yeah it is. Uh, so I'm excited though, because it looks really creepy. I think it is, let me actually look, cause it has a summary on Scribd. But it is a creepy haunted house tale steeped in Japanese folklore and full of devastating twists. Ooh, I'm excited. That sounds nice and spooky. Love to start it at a ripe 6.44 a.m. Yes, we're about to go get some Starbucks. Don't even worry. Uh, however, it's really dark outside. I don't know why. Maybe it's going to rain. Ooh, ooky spooky. Um, but I am going to use clips from another time I went to Starbucks where it's actually light outside because if I did it right now, the Starbucks I go to has like no lights around it so it would be dark and hard to see and this camera is great with picking up light that's not there exhibit a however it's not that good and she doesn't need to be so I'm not talking trash girl but it's true and I'm also bringing a middle grade to work to read today and it's small spaces my kids read the first 10 minutes of every day. This is only 200 pages, so I think if I read the first 10 minutes, well, I don't ever get to read 10 minutes because I have to take roll, get my life together, stay with a breakdown, you know, things like that. I think that I could probably get like five minutes of reading each class, so that's 25 minutes. And for me, that would be at least 50 pages of this probably. Uh, and then also my lunch is an hour, so that's another thing. So I could potentially get halfway, if not three quarters of the way through this today at work. However, let's talk. So I am really excited because <laughs> we have not one, but two pep rallies today. So our schedule is shortened and chaotic and a mess. And so honestly, the only time I know for sure I'm going to get to read is on lunch. So yeah, that's... Just to say, this is what I'll be reading when I am there on lunch. But for now, I'm going to go get Starbucks. I'm going to listen to this creepy short story. It is 2 hours and 32 minutes long. So it's an hour and 15 for me. Because I'll listen on 2 times speed. And we will see what I think of it. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are having a good time. Uh, tonight... Tonight, Jake and I have a bachelor night, so that means um, that I'm going to get food from somewhere. I'm not sure yet where. I probably need to work out. Will I? Mm, probably, so I can listen to an audiobook. I'll be productive or whatever. Uh, and then what else do I need to do? Get a second round of Starbucks. That's like, a, that's an obviously though. Oh, and then tomorrow, what I need to do is schedule the reading sprints. So I know I don't do like reading sprints on YouTube. Sorry, they make me anxious. I don't like them. It's just, it's like going into a crowded room and it's like, ah, you know, probably not. I'm just an anxious mess. But I am gonna have some on Patreon tomorrow. I think it's looking like at 3 p.m. Central Time. So this will definitely be posted by then, but, and I'll be into day two filming, but I am just 
excited and I need to figure out, I think, we'll talk when I get home about the rest of the TBR I have because I have two books on my bedside table that I want to read. But honestly, I'm just, I feel like if you want the like horror thriller slasher version, you go to Gabby. If you want the middle grade, we're gonna listen to one paranormal story at midnight and I'm gonna scare the crap out of myself and then like not leave the bed until it's like high noon. Uh, this channel's for you. It just is. So, <laughs> we'll figure out what I'm gonna read later. I got a book full of rooms. Nope, I have a room full of books. So we'll pick some out together. But for now, let's go get coffee because Lord knows I need it. Do you need it? Probably, let's go get it. Okay, so I gotta do a really quick update because I am about to have to go finish some work. Um, but I just went and I got another coffee. Um, they did not make my oat milk latte very great this morning. So I went with a normal iced coffee with vanilla and sweet cream. Good. I was listening to this one again in the car on the way to and from and so far what I know is it's basically this group of friends There's definitely some tension some issues going on in the friend group little hard for me to keep up with um, Audibly, I wish I could go back and reread it probably would have been good to read it physically at the same time But oh well, I but they go to this mansion in Japan and they are staying there for kind of like a friend trip thing it sounds like and there's already issues but my favorite line has already been said and I think it's probably gonna be my favorite for the book but the one guy whenever the power they were telling scary stories and the power went out and he grabbed the other our main character and he was like you're by and I'm the comic relief like we're gonna be the ones that die first we have got to go and I was like oh my god me and I literally cracked up in the car but that is all I've really read so I'm gonna keep listening to that on the way home I have an hour and two minutes left so I'll probably finish it on the way home like I said and then I will start in on some more books uh, physically once I get home. I have small spaces with me here like I mentioned I was going to bring but I'm kind of thinking of picking up this one, The Patient. I don't know what it's about but it's another short horror book. I wanted to pick up books that I already owned just because first of all it'd be easier to take the TBR picture not gonna lie but I think I'm just gonna post my TBR picture for today. Uh, a bunch of physical books that I may read. I kind of want to keep my TBR fluid and because I'm daily vlogging this wait we can just talk about it every day you know I feel like that works pretty well but I'm going to go drink this coffee. I'm going to probably start in on the patient. Uh, this is the one time I'm gonna have time to go to the bathroom so I'm gonna do that and I will check in with you guys after work. Probably after I have at least finished one book. Wouldn't it be great if I finished two? Probably not though. I don't have any time to read <laughs> until I drive home but still wouldn't that be like fun? Okay I know is it this mask don't don't mention the mask. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna, I switched them out after lunch, but I just, I'm breaking out on my chin, so I didn't want to show it, so. Basically, it's being used as a chin guard. I know I'm a mess, but we're surviving. Thriving? Questionable. Surviving? Definitely.
Okay, hi, so we are back home. We are at the updating, my god, Jacob, at the updating spot. Uh, sorry, I am breaking out on the chin. Like I mentioned earlier, I saw him uncover it with his hand and that's just how this update's going to be because I started using this new acne cream and apparently like it forces everything out. So on TikTok, don't even start. <laughs> yes, I got it from TikTok, but it's working and they say that it has to purge your skin and I'm like, well, <laughs> Loved the movie, hate this action though. Like, oh my God, thank God I wear a mask every day, right? Right. But I got home and on the way home, I was sad because I did not find the books that I was looking for at Barnes and Noble. I did find it in my dream, I hold a knife because Gabby recommended it, but I didn't end up getting it because I didn't, they didn't have the book that I wanted to read for the readathon, which was None Shall Sleep. So I got the audiobook of that. I don't know if I'll listen to it. I really wanted to physically read that one uh, this week so or weekend. So maybe I'll end up listening to the audio this weekend or another time either way i want to read the book so i'll end up listening to it eventually i just really wanted to uh, have that be my physical book but alas here we are and i also finished a book on the way home i finished nothing but blackened teeth i think it is the title and i saw this all over barnes and noble i did not realize that it was out and popular well i i've seen the cover because i remember it freaked me out because i mean look at it and I didn't know anything about it and I hadn't seen anyone read it but um yeah it's freaky mm -hmm. it is it is and it would make a great movie <laughs> like it really would do so good as a movie the only thing that kind of sucked was as a book um I knew it was like not long at all it's a novella almost but I just didn't think it was as short as it ended up being because it said 12 chapters on the actual script thing but I forgot that that takes into account like the epilogue and the author about and all of the dedication and things like that and they all round up as another chapter and I also felt like as soon as everything like I don't know I feel like things kind of got solved a little too easily in this one uh and I just thought it would be a lot more intense to be honest though this writing style was kind of brutal to listen to like there were so many times i was just like uh or like because it was just like gross honestly but because of the genre it is in uh i think it was really well done and i i knew that would be happening i just didn't know how intense it was gonna get because i haven't really other than reading a couple stephen king and grady hendrix i haven't really gotten into horror that is like gory or like body horror and things like that intense on the description of the gore and the horror aspects like that uh this one was definitely descriptive with that and it again not in a bad way like like it was just some of the wording I was like oh my lord that is a nasty so now I'm going to get all this footage onto my computer I'm gonna get the clips from Barnes & Noble onto my computer sorry that those are in iPhone quality because actually some of my favorite people on YouTube film completely on their iPhones why is my iPhone so bad like the quality I feel like is like ugh, next to it, literally anyone else's iPhone not next to a camera but next to like everyone's phone mine is just like bad uh, but after that I may do some edits just to like get it all situated so that I can then go make dinner walk on the treadmill read some while I do that and then finish out day one's vlog but I definitely do want to get I think I'm gonna call this day done at 10 so that then I can count after 10 when I'm laying in bed like that reading for tomorrow morning just to have something to talk to you guys about there and yeah the reading sprints did get settled the voting ended and it was uh 3 p.m is the time that I will be sprinting tomorrow so 
by then I need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna be reading and here we are. <laughs> I also brought home One of Us is Lying because it was actually up at the school. And so I brought that home so that I could maybe read it. I have that. I have Small Spaces. What is the other one? Plain Bad Heroines. And then I think that is it. I also... I talked about this. I did not read more. I think I'm gonna read it tonight when it's like creepy and I kind of freak myself out naturally. I uh, hope you're ready, Jake. You're <laughs> gonna have to deal with that but the patient which is on kindle unlimited so there's that one too uh but aside from that i don't really think i have anything else on the radar it's just gonna depend i picked a wide variety of genres so that no matter what mood i'm in there's gonna be something that works now that we're, we're done catching up nice to see you but gotta go i gotta i gotta get this together or else this vlog is not gonna happen so we need to get it done now Hi, it's your friendly neighborhood liar. Uh, I'm ending the vlog here <laughs> because I am gonna hop in uh, and watch the sprints that Mel is doing. So I, thank you, Jake, for that sigh, me. Uh, so I can actually focus. I ate dinner, I did my treadmill, I walked three miles in these Louboutins and now I'm tired, so. I'm gonna go edit this. I'm gonna be done with it by hopefully, what time is it? 7.30, hopefully it'll be done, edited everything by eight. Then I can shower, be in bed, and get it done. Reading wise. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We love dreams, we love goals, we love aspirations. But emoji is going to be, okay, there's two options. Either leave like a leaf emoji or leave your TBR, what you want to read for weekend ween. Um, as you can see with me, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But I do think that I'm probably gonna read some of One of Us is Lying and then read some of Plain Bad Heroines. I'm gonna switch off between those two, so that's my plans. What are your plans? Let me know. <laughs> Literally was like trying not to die. Whew, hiccups. Okay, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. <sighs> Goodbye.